Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing a topic that is not really discussed on YouTube. And I'm going to be showing you how to apply for a seller account so you can sell on the Walmart marketplace. If you've been following me on Instagram or you're in my Facebook group, which you should definitely join, the link for that is in the description below. Then you'll know that I recently applied for a second selling account on Walmart for my second business. In my opinion, there's a lot of potential for sellers who are able to get in early to start selling on Walmart. We all know that Amazon dominates the e-commerce space. Over 50% of all e-commerce sales in the United States happen on Amazon, but that doesn't even compare to how large Walmart is. So if you just take a look at the company revenues, this is not going to break down how much is on e-commerce, how much of Walmart is actually done online, but just to take a look at the actual amount of revenue that each company did, you'll see that Amazon, which is widely regarded as one of the largest companies in the world, did $280 billion last year in 2019. And then if you take a look at Walmart, which is the largest retailer in the world, they did over $500 billion in 2019. So this is still a company that does almost double what Amazon did last year. On top of that, Walmart is putting a lot of funding into their e-commerce site, as well as they're trying to expedite the onboarding process for allowing new sellers. When I tried to apply for my first business about three months ago, the application process was a lot harder than it is now. And I believe as time progresses, the application process for selling on Walmart is going to become easier. Now, why should you want to sell on Walmart? Aside from them being a massive company, there's only about 33,000 sellers according to this article. Compare that to Amazon, where there's several million sellers on the platform, and Walmart has around the same amount of traffic to their website. So yes, there are a lot more hoops to jump through, but if you are able to start selling on Walmart, there's a lot less competition, which means there's a lot more opportunity. So now that I've illustrated why, in my opinion, selling on Walmart is going to be a great opportunity for not only my business, but for every other business, and they do state in their terms of service that you do need to have the full rights to sell the product. So that's why on my channel, I always recommend wholesale. That's also why you can't really do online arbitrage. But in this video, I'm just going to break down the entire application process. So the first step to selling on Walmart is that you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in sell on Walmart. This is going to bring up the top search result, which is going to be sell your products on Walmart marketplace. So once you click that link, it's going to bring you up to this page. This is kind of like their funnel or their homepage to show you all the benefits to becoming a Walmart partner and partnering to sell on the Walmart marketplace. From here, what you're going to do next is you're going to click apply and that's going to start the application for you to sell on Walmart. That's going to bring up the marketplace application where you're going to see all the steps listed out as well as at the bottom, they're going to recommend what you should have as this is required information for the application. You're going to need your US business tax ID. You're going to need your W9 or a W8 on hand. You're going to need an EIN verification letter from the Department of Treasury. You're going to need a US business address and a planned integration method. That just means how you plan to upload your items. And you're also going to need your primary product categories, what your items are, what are you actually selling or what do you plan to sell on the Walmart marketplace. And that's pretty much all the information that they're going to ask you. From there, you're just going to click start application and it's going to bring you up to the company registration page. You're going to fill in your first name, your last name, your email address, and then you're going to verify your email address. You're going to verify the reCAPTCHA. You're going to fill in your phone number as well as your job title. And then you're going to fill in your legal business name. And then from there, you're going to fill in your US tax ID. That's either going to be your EIN or your TIN. And then from there, you're going to either upload a W8 or a W9. So a W8 would be if you're an international business and a W9 would be if you're a business entity, a sole proprietor or anything else like that in the United States. So since I'm in the US, I'm going to select W9 and then you'll see that it automatically has my company set in the US. And if I select W8, I have to select where my company is incorporated. So W9 I guess, is in the US. And then you're also going to have to upload all of your documents. So I just have to put a mandatory disclaimer and say that I am not a legal tax professional. All the information provided in this video is just from my experience as it is only for educational purposes. So I'm going to show you what I did for my W9. I went to Google and I type in W9 form. Then from there, you're going to click on the one where it says irs.gov. So the only website that you should click on is irs.gov. And there you will be able to download a W9 form. So you're going to fill this out with all your business information, your business name, what type of business you are, and all the other information like your EIN. Then you are going to upload that 
to the Walmart marketplace and you would do the same thing for a W-8. And you're also going to have to upload an EIN or a document with your EIN or a document showing with your EIN and your business address. So once you upload those two documents, you're then going to hit upload attachments and then those documents are going to be uploaded to the Walmart application. So the next thing that you're gonna put is you're gonna put your business address. After that, you're gonna put a DBA if you have one. If you don't have one, they say to just put your legal company name. Also, they say that you should put your company website. They don't require it, but I highly recommend that you do fill in the website just because the more information that you provide, the better it's gonna look on your application and the more chance that it has of being reviewed and being approved. The other information that I recommend that you put is a DUNS number. So like you'll see right here, they say this is not required. However, if you do put this information in, it's going to make your business look more legitimate as well as it's going to set your application apart from everyone else who's applying. If you're not familiar with what a DUNS number is, it's a free number that you can register with Dun & Bradstreet. This is basically used for business credit and keeping track of your business. So what you can do is you can go on Dun & Bradstreet and you can register a number and then you should get that within, I got mine within two weeks. So once you get that, then you can go ahead and you can register your number, put it in. And then after that, are you transporting goods from another country? So you can click no. Do you sell items in these categories? And if you do, then you would click yes, or you would click the category that you do sell on it. From there, once you have filled in all this information, you're gonna click next. So the next page is the product and integration page. And from here, you're just gonna be filling out some information about your business. So you're gonna put your average online revenue and they give you some tips on what the numbers are that you're supposed to put in. Then you just select the category. So, you know, are you apparel and accessories, baby, beauty, are you in computer and hardware? And then from there, you are also going to fill in your Amazon seller name and you're gonna put in your Amazon store URL. After that, you're gonna put in your catalog size. Do you have 100 SKUs? Do you have 200 SKUs, 300 products? Whatever your catalog is, you're just gonna be filling it in there. And what percent of your SKUs are refurbished? Mine was zero. And again, what percent of your SKUs do not have valid UPC codes? Again, that's zero for me. What percent of your SKUs are used? Zero for me. So you would fill this in according to your business and how are you planning to integrate with Walmart? So you can either go directly through portal. What this means is that you can use either API, you can use bulk upload or you can single upload every product or you can use a solution provider like Ecom Dash, Cellbrite or you can use Channel Advisor, all of the lists that I showed you before. And so I went with using solution providers. You can go ahead and you can do direct through portal. And if you are going to use solution providers, then you're just going to select which one. So you can actually use API here. So I used channel advisor, which is right here, channel advisor. And if you were doing through API, maybe another software, then you would just select API. And then from there, you're going to select next and it's going to bring you up to shipping and operations. So on the shipping and operations page, they're just gonna ask you some information about how you ship products as well as where your warehouse is located. So does your business have offices or warehouses outside of the US? Mine is gonna be no, and you would of course put this according to your company. So select the state for your incorporation. So for me, that was in New Jersey. So whichever state you're incorporated in, that's what you would put. So I'm just going to select New Jersey and then the year of foundation. So mine was in 2016 you would put whatever year that your company was founded in. And then can you fulfill orders by 2 p.m. Monday through Friday? For me, that is yes. Again, you would do this according to your information. So the next thing is current shipping methods, and then you're gonna select all that apply. So for my business, it's UPS, FedEx, USPS, and FBA. And then if you use DHL or another one, then you would go ahead and select those. Then you would go ahead and you would verify your warehouse address. And then from there you would go, why would you be a good fit for Walmart marketplace? So what I put here for this information is that I put that my company sells on a lot of other marketplaces. I said that I sell on eBay. I offer my products on my own website. I offer my products on Amazon. And I think that I would be a great fit for the Walmart marketplace because I have a lot of unique products that are currently offered on Walmart for higher prices. And I also have products that are not offered on Walmart. So this is a value proposition. You're just gonna be listing out a few reasons as to why your business would be a good fit for Walmart. And you don't have to overdo it, but just list some reasons why you think that your business would do well on Walmart or why Walmart should accept you. So after you filled in all this information, you're just gonna hit complete application and then it's going to update your page. And then you're going to see whether or not you've completed the application.
So from there, I've now successfully submitted all the information as well as my application. And I now have what's called conditional approval. This means that you can log into your backend for selling on Walmart, the seller dashboard for Walmart. And you're not gonna be able to upload any items as well as you're now going to have to complete your company profile for the Walmart marketplace. So to give you a quick overview of everything that you're gonna to need to do, this is going to be your account creation. So you're just going to have to go ahead, create a password, create security questions, and then you're gonna create your account. And I also recommend that you do not use a Walmart account that it already exists, use a different email. And then from there, you're just going to sign the agreement. You're going to read through the terms of service. No one actually reads through them, but you're going to have to just click that you read them. Then you have your company registration. So you're going to have to fill in all of your company information. They're going to ask you different jobs. So you're going to have to say who is the manager, who is the shipping manager, and you're going to have to fill in all of the jobs in the information for Walmart. Then they're going to ask you about taxes. They're going to ask you, you're going to have to fill in basically all of your tax information and your tax policies for your business. And then for payment and info, there are two ways that you can register for payment with Walmart. You can use Pioneer or Payoneer, and that's going to link directly to your bank account. And the other one is that it's called, it's I forgot the name of the company, but they integrate with PayPal. So basically when you go to payment info, you're going to select what payment method you want. And if you select through PayPal, you're gonna to have to log in, create an account with this third party service provider. So it's actually called Hyper Wallet, it says right here. And then from there, you're going to connect Hyper Wallet to either your bank account or to PayPal. And that's another way that you can get paid on Walmart. And then your shipping info is you're just gonna be putting how you're gonna be shipping. You're gonna be filling in your shipping profile. You're gonna be filling in all the different tiers. So are you gonna be doing seven day? Are you gonna be doing two to five? Do you have expedited shipping? And that's basically the entire account creation as well as the profile for your business. And after that, you are going to be able to log in to the onboarding process for your Walmart marketplace. So once you create your account, you're gonna get this email that says, congratulations, you've been conditionally approved to sell on Walmart. And then from there, you're just going to need to go ahead and you need to go through the other steps. So you're gonna to need to set up your company profiles. That means setting up the different shipping profiles, setting up the return policy, setting up your tax policy, setting up your policy for your privacy for your customers. So you're basically setting up your entire account information as well as your entire business profile, your business name, everything, and you're gonna to have to upload all of that. Once all of that is uploaded, then there are several uh, like check marks that you have to complete when you're applying for Walmart. So there are several steps when you're applying for an account. And after you've actually applied for all of that, after you filled in all the information, then you are going to select, I am ready to go live. And once you select that you're ready to go live, you're gonna get another email that is going to say that you should hear back from us within 48 hours. So for me, it was actually not after 48 hours. What happened was is that I contacted Walmart and they said that they were gonna still gonna get back to me. So it was actually about after a week. After a week, what happened was is I received a call from the Walmart verification team. They called me up, they asked me about my name, they asked me my business name, they asked me the email address that I use to go ahead and sign up for the account, as well as a couple of other information. And then after all of that, and after I talked with them, they hung up and then I got this email that said, congratulations, we've officially approved you for your Walmart Marketplace seller application. And then from there, you're still going to have to wait and you're still going to have to wait to be onboarded and your products are not going to be live yet. But after that, and after a little bit more contact information with them, then your products are going to be live and you're going to be able to start selling on Walmart. So that's basically the entire overview of how to apply to sell on Walmart. Of course, there is some other info. You're gonna to need to go and you're gonna to need to spend the time to fill in all the company information, the profile, the different profile for your team, so your shipping team and everything like that, your tax information. But once you've filled in everything and you've clicked that you're ready to go live and you go through the onboarding process, then if you actually use a service provider and you use a software that can go ahead and bulk upload your items, it's relatively easy to get your items up on Walmart if you're using a software that can bulk uploading. If you're gonna be doing it individually, it is pretty difficult, but like I said, just use a service provider, get your items up there, and then you can start selling on Walmart. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. Also subscribe if you're new. I make weekly content about wholesale and selling online. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.